Okay, this is going to be a short video on how to cut bottle bottoms in half so you'll have two pieces to work with. And you can do it with a variety of different sizes and shapes. Uh, I use a couple tools here that I bought at Hobby Lobby. Now this is the glass cutter and these are what I call glass pliers. But there are proper names for those. They've got funny names. This set of pliers is called metal running pliers. And you can buy them for $10.99. I just printed this out today at Hobby Lobby. And steel wheel glass cutter. And that's only about four fifty. So there you go, that's the tools I use. Now if you hadn't worked with glass before, it may take you a very long time to figure this out. Uh, that you can cut these uh, bottle bottoms in half, exactly in half, or in any shape you want with these tools. So I just take a beat up old hammer stone and I trim off this thick area. with just brushing strokes. It's not going to take the whole thing off, I just want to make it flatter. It just gets rid of that raised area when you brush it like this. And you just take your glass cutting wheel and score a line down. Now if there's already a break, that's probably the best place to uh, cut it, but you can cut it uh, anywhere basically. Let's just make a make a score mark right there. See that. And then there's a curved portion on these pliers. Make sure it curves towards you, I guess. And you supply pressure. And just snaps it perfectly in half. Now you've got two pieces to work with. This one is from a uh, steak sauce bottle, I believe. The sides of this bottle are flat too, but they're very thin. The bottom is the uh, is what I use. It's really thick. This one's just a regular beer, bo beer bottle. Now this one also has a broken area here. So it makes it kind of easy. I just score. I just wanted to make sure that was in focus. You can hear it kind of make that grinding sound. Put it right on the middle there and apply pressure. Squeeze it. Now this one is probably, I'm putting pressure but it's not breaking so it's probably too curved already. So 
so I could try again by going that way Put that center right on the, the line that you just scored. Let's try again here. That one turned out better. If you trim it a little bit better around the edges, it would work well. But this will work well. It's pretty thick for an arrowhead. And then I have a large, uh, I think this is a pickle jar. I'm sure there are guys out there who have a lot of glass cutting experience that probably know another way to do this, but uh, this is what I do. Let's see here. Now you don't have to score it too much, just as long as there is a score line in the surface. Now this one I scored on the bottom instead of the top. I think that'll work. Yeah. Then I guess if you wanted to cut it down further you can score it the other way. You know, score here and make some more triangles. But that's how I do it if I want to uh, get the most out of these bottle bottoms. Kind of messed up on that one. Sorry about that. But uh, you got some good usable pieces. Okay, that's it.